So I looked at this case and I went, oh, it's like the 600T, but updated to be sleeker with like more features and stuff. And then according to the reviewer's guide, uh, that's exactly what they were going for. So mission accomplished, Corsair. Cooler Master V Series Semi Modular Power Supplies feature 80 plus gold efficiency and their gold guarantee 5 year warranty. Click now to learn more. As always, it starts with the box that goes around the box. Will your 780T reach you in one piece? The answer is most probably. The packing foam was broken in more than one place, but ours had no visible damage on it whatsoever other than the Corsair badge that fell off, which we then later found and reattached. On to documentation and accessories, Corsair's blown up view of the case with handy dandy screw type reference chart approach works well for this case. But as always, you can find a more complete version online. Speaking of screws, Corsair includes everything you need, but nothing in the way of eye-catching extras like those cool screw containers that Fantex throws in with their similarly priced cases. Which leads to my first complaint about the case. In the conclusion of this review of the original 600T, an Antex writer who happens to be our technical marketing contact at Corsair now, small world, says that compared to its circa 2010 competition, the build quality felt cheaper and that the case was quite expensive. Four years later, I feel like its replacements construction is still not impressive to me, given the fairly premium price tag, because I'm just not that into the plastic look. Although some people may feel differently about this. Now to be clear, I'm not calling the case bad. And since it's a computer tower and not a support truss, in the real world it'll likely never matter. I'm just saying that much like the 760T, which I reviewed here and think is an awesome case by the way, the 780T sacrificed some structural rigidity to the convenience and style gods in exchange for, among other things, a massive plexi window that lets you see all the guts in all of their glory, stylish plastic feet that keep the case off the floor so a bottom mounted radiator or power supply fan can still get access to fresh air, and and reconfigurable drive cages that can be hung from the top, stacked from the bottom, or removed altogether to make room for a 280 or 360 millimeter radiator in the front. And it's not like the whole design is impractical anyway. The front has a super easy to remove filter that reveals two of the included 140 millimeter fans, and it's got two five and a quarter inch bays in case you still use those. At the top we find another easily removed fan filter, this one revealing room for a thick 280 or 360 millimeter radiator, and or the accompanying fans, front USB 2, front USB 3, front audio, a too easy to hit by accident IMO reset button, a three mode fan controller that controls up to five fans, and finally the same automobile design inspired power button that we first saw on the 380T. A nice touch. A quick glance at the back reveals water cooling holes, another radiator mounting point pre-populated with the final included 140mm fan, this one without LEDs and Sheesh, nine PCI expansion slots. That's enough for a triple slot card in the bottom of a standard ATX board, a double slot card in the bottom of an eight slot XL ATX board, or a double slot in quad SLI on a standard board with ample breathing room. The 780T is the 600T successor in more ways than just appearance. This bad boy is meant to be a perfect choice for extreme systems running air cooling, which doesn't mean Mean that it lacks liquid cooling options either. In addition to the mounting points I already mentioned, the bottom of the case, along with its front and rear access filters, has a final 240mm radiator mounting slot that you can use if you don't need your hard drive cages down there. Alright, so let's crack her open, shall we? The side panels can be released with handle style latches on either side, and the first thing I notice is, man! This thing suffers, albeit to a lesser degree than the 900D, from hardware dwarfagism, a condition that makes even high-end hardware like this GTX 780 Ti and Asus WS motherboard look tiny inside it. This roomy interior is gonna be a dream for folks with large hands or who want to throw 
Additional stuff that Corsair didn't think of inside, like motherboard tray mounted cylinder reservoirs. Other than sheer spaciousness, there's nothing terribly groundbreaking about the interior though. I like Corsair's removable two and a half inch toolless mounts. I like the high quality rubber grommet material. I like the adjustable height rear fan mount, and I really like the extremely spacious cable management area behind the motherboard tray with ample cable management loops, another 600T carryover. But at closer to $200 than to $150, there are also a few things I feel like could have been improved. So here come the uh, nitpicky complaints. Some cable management could have been a bit better. The front audio connector is long enough to connect to your neighbor's PC, and the top mounted fans have only one place where wires can be routed. But unless you're using the long leads on the case's built in fan control or extensions to your motherboard, it might not be very easy to access. This is an issue for me because while I appreciate the built in fan speed toggle, one of the reasons I'm partial to ASUS motherboards is their excellent onboard fan control, and this case makes it slightly less convenient to use. Which leads to nitpick number two. There are two cable management grommet locations that I feel were left out of the motherboard tray, top center and bottom right. Almost every board has a CPU fan header in the top center and front panel connectors bottom right. I'm guessing that these were left out to maintain as much structural rigidity as possible given the way that the motherboard tray free balls without support from those removable hard drive cages, but I still would have liked to have them. Which ties into nitpick three, the hard drive cages. I know we're stuck with them for a while because Corsair has so many cases that use the design, but I promise to keep complaining about Corsair's three and a half inch cages until they stop using them or everyone on earth stops using hard drives and switches over to SSDs. Whichever of those two things happens to come first. Which I guess leads us pretty well into conclusion time. The 780T is good but it didn't blow me away with its striking industrial design the way the 760T did. It's good, but not amazing. And I also think they missed a huge opportunity to make the cable management look fantastic by putting a basement separation in this case, rather than this open area with its kind of cheesy SATA cable management hole on the bottom that leaves the wires not only exposed, but even visible through the large side panel window. All of that said, I feel obliged to remind longtime viewers of my show and tell the new ones that I tend to go a little hard on Corsair because my expectations of them are so high based on their history of innovation. So take all these complaints in the appropriate context. If anyone but Corsair had released this case, I would have likely overlooked most of these flaws and praised the case as an enthusiast air cooler's delight with some surprisingly solid build options for liquid coolers too, and a striking industrial design with smooth curves, well well-placed mesh and that front illumination that's a really nice touch. So maybe that's the right conclusion, but I'm not going to start going easy on George now, right? I mean, I've been at it for this long. Anyway, guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment letting me know what do you think of the 780T, particularly compared to the 760T, given their similar price point and you know similar overall features. Which one do you like the looks of better? Also guys, while you're still listening to me ramble, check out the link in the video description to support us. You can buy a cool t-shirt like this one, give us a monthly contribution, or you can just change your Amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a small kickback whenever you buy stuff like gummy bears. It's super helpful and, and, and awesome. Helps us out a lot. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.